University of Hawaii is defending a decision by Athletics Director Herman Frazier to return 4,000 of the school's Sugar Bowl tickets. Andrew Pereira joins us now with more Andrew. Tanya, UH had to decide before those tickets went on sale whether to return them, and officials never expected demand to be so high. The sign at the Stan Sheriff Center box office said it all. Non-season ticket holders will have to look elsewhere for Sugar Bowl tickets. The uh, interest and uh, the uh, excitement by the fans has been incredible, something that we never could have anticipated because we have no history in BCS games. Daryl Seitz, a UH season ticket holder the past three years, bought 10 Sugar Bowl tickets Monday morning. He purchased two more tickets directly from the Sugar Bowl and is selling them online. It's 198 total hits, and I've had it up since Sunday. Seitz, who dabbles as a ticket broker, believes UH made a big mistake by returning 4,000 of the school's 17,500 Sugar Bowl tickets. Orange Bowl is not sold out every year, but the Sugar Bowl is always sold out. You would be no problem getting rid of those tickets. UH would have been responsible for the cost of any unsold tickets, and the 4,000 tickets returned represents half a million bucks. 350 season ticket holders are currently on a waiting list for 1,500 Sugar Bowl tickets, and UH officials are doing all they can to deliver. We're going to keep beating the bushes and uh, try to find as many tickets as we can for our season ticket holders. Today, the Sugar Bowl confirmed it's sending an additional 500 tickets to UH early next week, and more tickets may become available. The university is also looking at other options. We've asked fans here who have bought tickets and then can't use them to uh, contact us and we'll buy them back. And also we're looking at our own blocks that we're holding for team and university use and see if there's some extra tickets there. And if you look at the big picture, the high demand is a good problem. I mean, this really shows that if UH goes to a high-level mainland bowl, that our Hawaii fans are going to support it and come out in droves. Now, UH will begin contacting season ticket holders who are on that waiting list starting tomorrow. Andrew Pereira, KHON 2 News. And a couple of our KHON staffers have golden tickets. Sports Director Kanoa Leahy and Manolo Morales will travel to New Orleans later this month to bring us special reports on the Warriors and Hawaii fans in the days leading up to the Sugar Bowl coming up on New Year's Day. How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. It's been a season in which the UH Warrior football team has constantly overcome every obstacle, every deficit, every doubt. Tonight, Hawaii quarterback Colt Brennan heads to New York as a finalist and again as an underdog for the Heisman Trophy in a ceremony that takes place Saturday at 3 p.m. Hawaii time on ESPN. His competition, Florida QB Tim Tebow, Arkansas running back Darren McFadden, and Missouri quarterback Chase Daniel. Let the debate begin. What does guy have to do? His team undefeated in a BCS Bowl. Colt Brennan from Hawaii should be the choice here. I'm telling you, what does he have to do? Obviously, the BCS recognizes his team. We scheduled or not, fellas, they're in a big-time BCS Bowl, okay? Bottom line, this that. guy has thrown for nine more touchdowns in Tebow, for 1,000 more yards in Tebow. He's nearly scored as many touchdowns as Tebow, and he's done it for an unbeaten team. I'm telling you, fellas, if Geno Toretta can win this, if Danny Warford can win this, if Eric Crouch can win this, why can't Colt Brennan win this? Harry Crouch, Danny Warfel, Gino Toretta, big time competition. So Cole it's not Brennan fair. Has not. If Colt Brennan in Hawaii flashed, he played in the SEC, would they have a winning record? I say no, they would not. Yeah, no so. way of knowing that. He would never compile those kind of stats in the SEC. It's just too tough a conference. Woody Page. Well, I think the other point you have to realize here is that Tebow was responsible for more than 50 touchdowns and almost 4,000 yards. And when you can do it running and passing, I think that's the most effective thing. Gotta love the impassioned debate. The Warriors are taking some time off this week. Haven't practiced since their classic win over Washington. They'll get back at it next week. Their opponent in the Sugar Bowl, however, Georgia, got on the practice field today for the first time since the end of the regular season, and they're anticipating a New Year's Day battle. We're playing a great football team, a team that no one's been able to beat, and uh, a quarterback who's thrown more touchdowns than anybody in the history of the college world. Great coach, great coach. He's taken that program to national prominence. Been there nine years. He, he, he loves the place. He, he loves uh, his players. He's doing everything that he can to help them win, and, and they're winning. You know, so uh, 
it's going to be it's going to be quite a uh, quite a day. I, I believe it's a great honor to, to play against the only team that's, that's that have, haven't been beaten. You know, and, and that says a lot. I love to go against a quarterback that's is highly highly uh, th thought about and have receivers that's highly thought about and. They have a great offensive line. Obviously, he sits back there. And, I mean, he combs his hair, he brushes his teeth. You know, he, but I mean, it's going to be a challenge for our whole defense. Our D line, they're going to have to be in shape. Secondary have to be in shape. We have to communicate across the board. And, and that's, that's 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 oh man, it's just we have a big challenge. They're uh, you know a team that we don't get to see a lot of, and uh, and you know we know they're they're great on offense, and it's it's definitely going to be tough for us. Sugar Bowl in New Orleans goes down New Year's Day. The game will air live right here on KHON2. And both Manolo Morales and myself are headed to the Big Easy. And we'll be bringing you reports throughout the week leading up to the game. Hopefully we won't have to room together. We mentioned the athletic department is scrambling to get seats for fans left out when the Sugar Bowl tickets sold out Tuesday. Late this afternoon, the university announced the Sugar Bowl is sending 500 additional tickets. They'll go to season ticket holders on a waiting list with a limit of six tickets per person. More than three hundred season ticket holders are on that list. The university should have had more tickets for fans, but it decided to turn back 4,000 of its allotted tickets because at that time it was uncertain about the demand. Here, this is something that we've never been through before. It's completely off the charts. It's unprecedented, and we're just dealing with the best way we can. The university is trying to get back tickets from season ticket holders who bought them but can't find travel from ticket brokers, and they hope to get more tickets from the Sugar Bowl next week. All tickets released will go to season ticket holders. Everyone else is on their own. And with the news that the university is out of those Sugar Bowl tickets, Warrior fans and the general public are scrambling to find seats in the cheering section. But if you're willing to watch the game anywhere in the Superdome, there are tickets available, but buyer beware. KITV's Joe Kuramoto has details. Okay, so you've already got your airline tickets, you've got a hotel, but you're still missing one last thing. Don't worry, you're still in luck. There are hundreds of Sugar Bowl tickets available online, ranging from $132 to luxury seating that'll cost you $100,000 each. With the online market for ticket sales out of control these days and no regulatory authority over these sites, consumers, you're on your own. Like anything else on the internet, you really have to exercise due diligence. You have to do some minimal amount of research to know who you're dealing with. Executive Director of the Office of Consumer Protection, Stephen Levins, recommends a few online ticket shopping tips. First, check if the broker you're dealing with is a member of the Better Business Bureau or National Association of Ticket Brokers. It's not a, a guarantee lock that you're going to be safe. However, it's a lot more secure than if you're dealing with an entity you have no idea. Know exactly where you're sitting, and when buying your ticket, look to see there's a lock on the website, and the address has the prefix HTTPS, ensuring it's a secured encrypted website. And always pay with a credit card for better protection. The other thing that's really important, just because a website says fully guaranteed, or you know, thousands of satisfied customers, it doesn't mean that, ain't, that it's necessarily so. <laughs> If you're still determined to be one of these in New Orleans on New Year's Day. Be shopping savvy so that you're wearing green, not losing it. Joe Kuramoto, KITV4 Island Television News. And the Warrior football team will be honored this Saturday at a parade in Kapolei. Several players will be the Grand Marshals of the Kapolei City Lights Electric Light Parade. Vili the Warrior will also take part. The parade starts at 6 o'clock at the Kapolei Fairgrounds. The players will help light the Kapolei Hale Christmas tree at 7.30 p.m. Details are also being worked out for another parade honoring the Warrior team after they return from the Super Bowl.